going to be a uh, charcuterie board for the Greer Historic Depot. Um, this is an advanced V-carve operation right here, pretty simple. Um, I don't feel like there's really a need to do a tutorial on this one because it's all over YouTube and the web. Um, just a simple lightning bolt. Uh, if any of you are hardcore railroad enthusiasts, you'll recognize this. Um, there are going to be three charcuterie boards in the series. Um, one with the PNN, I believe that's Piedmont and Northern Railroad. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what railroad this this logo is right here. Um, and then there's going to be a logo that's the, um, the Historic Rear Depot's logo on one. These are all going to be carved out and then filled with uh, pearl white epoxy. Uh, these things are going to be beautiful against the dark walnut. So this is what we've got going on today in the shop, uh, along with engraving more dog tags, shot glasses, uh, Yeti cups. What else am I doing? Coasters. Uh, the MC Escher bit from Carbide 3D is a diamond coated bit. And that thing is insane. It's uh, It can carve anything and it looks really awesome. And the, uh, the new version of Carbide Create is what I'm using. And let's see, it's uh, Build 530. Uh, if you don't have Build 530, go ahead and get it because it's got the engraving. I don't know if you can see this. The phone has got engraving, tool pass, drill, texture. So some really cool stuff. So check it out. When I get these knocked out, we'll show you some images. But I've got to run to Woodcraft Greenville and pick up the, uh, the pigment powder for the pearl epoxy inlay in there. So I will see y'all later. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Meant to Be Studios back again. Working on some more charcuterie boards. I've got two that I just flattened. These things are gorgeous. Can you see that, that color? There's some light and dark runs right through there. These are gonna be 14 by 24 for, once again, for the historic rear depot. That's what we're doing a lot of work for here lately. They're gonna be engraved or, not engraved, but I'm gonna carve out a few logos for them. Um, one being their own, another being the Piedmont Northern Railroad logo, and then uh, I think the Greenville Western? I don't remember. Either way, pocketed them out on the uh, handy dandy Shapoko here, XXL, and used the uh, dust boot, thank goodness. I used the uh, white side um, spoil board, board surfacing bit. Spoil board surfacing bit. Yeah, that's a fun one to say. And I've got Maggie out here in the shop. She's getting bugged because I'm not playing with her. Um, she keeps jumping up on my side saying, quit ignoring me. Either way, I'm ready for fall. It's uh, September 30th, something like that, but it's still hot as crap in this shop. I need to get me an air conditioner for real. Where, where's the sponsors at? Is it a mini split? DeLonghi? Uh, heck, I don't know. I could cut a hole in the wall and stick a window unit in there. Anyway. I've got, this is two out of the three uh, charcuterie boards that we're doing. And then I've got a big stack of walnut over there that's going to become jewelry boxes. Um, I had one out here that I already made yesterday. Um, lesson to be learned. Secure your workpiece very well. I had double-sided tape and thought that was going to be enough. It wasn't. Uh, it got almost done with cutting out the lid of the box and sent it flying. It, the bit hit it, threw it against the wall. It jumped off the belt a little bit. It's jacked up. But I was able to uh, trim it down, trim the bad spot out, sand it smooth. And uh, it still looks pretty good, but I'm going to hang on to that one because it's not good quality. And uh, if you're not going to send somebody your best, and, and don't bother sending it. So... That's where I'm at. Let me get this dog inside. My little doodle here. She's trying to eat sawdust and I'm sure walnut dust is not good for her. Um, 
So let me go in and give her some uh, water and I'll see y'all in a little bit. I'm gonna get out here in a little while. I'm gonna carve the logos in these. That'll be cool to watch. And uh, see y'all next time.